Final stretch of this Tonki arc. What are we doing? I don't know, but it's a lot of fun. There, there are some fun moments, right? The battle scene last episode too with Kirito going crazy with the quote unquote dual wielding with Swordland playing. Always a always a treat. Klein falling for the NPCs is, you know. I hope he gets a girlfriend soon. Hopefully it's not AI. And Sinon is peak as usual. Let's let's finish off strong and get started on the actual part two of season two. That's so cheap, bro. Yui literally knows all the mechanics ahead and tells you exactly what to do. You would get banned if you had Yui in- They're all beaters, man. Well, let's go, Paul D. Nitoryu. Uh-oh. You! Animation, we yo, there's a lot of care in this part, bro. Freya, okay. Did Freya just kill Thrym? Here we go, Excalibur. Line Kirito combi attack. Uh oh. What? That skill is it? We have a secret weapon? Lisbeth ass. <laughs> she couldn't even finish her fucking sentence. Sugu's dead. Oh no. Oni. Surely we take a lot of damage from that, right? It's not like he froze us and released us out of nothing. Freya? Shinon hard clutching, boy. Shinon is a new fucking player right now. Look at all these ALO veterans fucking just like dying, and then Shinon's just new player clutches. Wait, what do you see? What do you see? By 30 seconds. Usually, every time Kirito has said, give me this many seconds to prep, it actually was on point. Let's see. 4.30 right now. By five minutes. Freya. What is it? Is it Excalibur? It's not, right? What is it? Mjolnir? Golden Hammer. Past 30 seconds passed? Yeah, 30 seconds has passed. Now it's been 45 seconds. The hammer will conduct electricity most. That's the idea. Kirito Giat. The legendary hammer. Who is worthy enough to use Mjolnir, bro? Let Klein do it. Let Klein do it and then save Freya. Come on, man. Let, let Freya do it. All right, she's fucking strong. I I thought that maybe because like Klein was the one person that tried to actually believe in the trap that was Freya, that like like Klein is the one that is worthy to do it, so he'd be the one to strike it down and save Freya. Oh my god, she don't need no help, man. She come and fucking do it for us. What's overflowing? And y'all want us to skip the Tonki arc, man. <laughs> the Tonki arc is actually getting better with every episode. What the fuck, man? Clyde? This is a trap. There was a fucking trap the entire time, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Not just any guy, it's an old man. <laughs> Clyde is literally like crying, bro. He's like sweating on his fucking knees in the ground. How could this be? My potential girlfriend! I mean, they kept saying, you know, Waga. Waga now or something, right? It's like, Wani. Freya has evolved into Thor. So it was Mjolnir. What is that axe? I don't know much about Norse mythology, but I would imagine the weapon is also Norse. 
アースガルズに送り返してくれで攻撃しよう、うん、みんな全力攻撃だ All right, spam attacks everybody <laughs> Maybe Thor will return to Freya later Elizabeth, do your thing Where's Silica and Pina at? This part reminds me of Naruto soundtrack Yo, let's go Silica Coffee pasta. No? It's a different variant. The combo attacks worked, guys! How does bro have no fucking armpit hair, bro? He is as smooth as Freya except the fucking beard, man. Ooh! We're done? Are we done or is there another phase? <laughs> He double tapped. He wouldn't even let him finish there. <laughs> Bro, Thor was. He, he was about to say his outro line, and Thor was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. What about Excalibur now? Wow, diamond thing. Oh, just weapon? Sarabada! Okay. Tonki quest is done. What about Excalibur, though? Cool. You know what, Klein? Yeah. I don't think he's too happy. I think he would prefer, you know, an AI girlfriend. But hey, Klein is the fucking god of thunder now. You're right. Because <laughs> he's a samurai. What the fuck is he gonna do with the hammer? Oh, he's cooked. He got no girlfriend and no reward. Maybe you can sell the hammer. It's more like a weapon for Lisbeth. I feel like she could use a hammer. What? It's not over yet. Excalibur. As soon as Thor showed up, he went away. Maybe she was doing the scouting. Who's gonna pull Excalibur, man? I hope that Klein pulls it. But there's also a fake called Calibur, right? Oh shit! It's the same one! From ALO Finale! Yo, can we ask Kaiba one more time? Can we do system command Heathcliff one more time? Okay, he can do it. He can do it. He just needs to yell for another five seconds. There it is. Is it good? I don't know. Ominous tree vines. Tonki, where are you at? Catch us! Tonki got a clutch anytime, man. Does he actually have an Olympic class high jump? I don't think so. Klein, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Poor Klein. He tried his best and he still gets shit on by the girls, bro. Anytime Kirito tries something, the girls never fucking, you know, shit on him. Anytime Klein's do Klein does something, the girls just like shit on him, man. I thought that Tonki would like arrive and help. Hmm? I love how Sugu calls Kirito Onichan in game, but Kirito won't acknowledge Sugu has her little sister, and he calls her by the game name Leafa. There's something funny about this and how we like cucked her in season two, a season one ending, and like how this just continues like that. Oh, look at, look at Tsugu trying to get a <laughs> quick one in, bro. He doesn't even give a fuck. He's like more worried about the quest right now than Tsugu. <laughs> the ears are twitching. Tonki! Tonki came back for us! Klein, don't fuck the jump up. 
Don't fuck it up, Klein. Oh, just push him. I thought he died for a second. I thought he actually fell. That's fucked up. We're just eating Excalibur? I thought he was talking about some kind of emotional burden of having Excalibur and reminding him of like ALO stuff back in the day, but it's just like it's too heavy, so he's like, shit, I can't jump with it. Let me just toss it off. Okay. Now Excalibur is gonna be lost forever. Well, it's down there. Anyone can go get it, I guess. She don't clutch, she don't clutch. You can do this with archery? Is she about to collect it? She's about to rescue Excalibur. Oh my god, the GGO skills, bro. Shinon proving why she might still be the best girl. Oh my gosh, she got it. It's insane. That's the thing about these new banner units, man. Like Shinon, bro. It's because she's fresh. She's still relevant, dude. She just gets the spotlight, man. All these other girls are, you know, season one content. Shinon is still brand new, so that's why she gets a lot of these spotlights. These four all power crept by Shinon. Gosh, she's so cool. Hmm? What? Do it for me? Huh? In front of the girls? In front of the girl. That's a power play. That is a fucking power play. This is literally the quattro. Actually, I guess Yui is now involved in it. How about Pina? Are we cucking Pina too? Everyone in this frame right now. Like, we were memeing about how the cut quattro was just watching, you know, Bob 3 go GGO arc, right, in, in the fucking bar. But, like, straight up. And, like, they were watching the tournament in ALO also, right? So that, this girl, she, I can't believe she fucking did it. They actually dedicated a scene where she don't cucks all of them, dude. This is amazing. What's up, Clyde? Why does he get away? I swear to God, Klein does not deserve this shit. He has been getting shit on in season one, but that was like, like Kirito was being like an edgy kid back then, right? And he didn't know how to like re like like reciprocate the the helping hand of Klein, who was like a mat mature adult that kind of wanted to help the edgy boy. But now it's just turned into comedic gag where Kirito will just like push Klein off the fucking thing and maybe make Tonki save him or like kick him in the fucking chin. <coughs> Oh. oh, that wink. That wink, though. Oh, my God. And this episode actually solidifies Sinon being top. Dude, yo, is this canon right now? I don't even know if we're watching filler or not. This is canon episode, right? Okay, because it's just... Okay, okay, it's canon, okay. Water? Instead of being like a barren, like, um, winterland. <laughs> this is fast as fuck. I mean, they're not actual trees. In a matter of, like, seconds, the whole civilization came back. Holy shit, dude. The game moved fast. Yeah, this cutscene is pretty long right now. I'm sorry, I can't. It's fucking main story quest shit that I cannot skip. Other oh, donkeys! They're kind of cute. Are, are these basically like NPCs, like random fucking new players witness, witnessing the glory of like the most OP fucking party in ALO or SAO? Tonki's not real, Leafa. Friends? No wonder only Chan doesn't like you. Oh! Norse mythology quest. What's my reward, lady? Freya? No. Yo, set her up with climb, please. Looking like a Valkyrie. Climb blushed that skull, man. 
Everyone gets like EXP? Quest bonus. We actually obtained Excalibur in our inventory. Cool. Are we actually going to? Are, are, are these the characters that's important for the future? Because you said that it's like canon episodes and like some characters are actually important and these are the new characters. So I would hope that they're going to be important in the future fucking season. If we spent three fucking days watching Tonki Arc and it doesn't pay off. Oh my God. That one with Klein. The Valkyrie with Klein. Klein! <laughs> Grown ass man. So thirsty for girls that you're about to hold. Like this is a fucking cutscene happening. This is a fucking cutscene happening where the NPCs are disappearing into the fucking, you know, they're, they're, they're going into the sky and going away. This is part of the quest that's ending. And, and Klein is like, wait, hold up. What are you doing, Klein? <laughs> Yeah. I don't think Skull took program to give you the contact info. <laughs> Skull waved and those little glitters? Contact info? <laughs> no contact info. <laughs> Skull just looked around and was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then the glitters went to climb and climb was like, oh, oh. Skull's warped. Wow. I'm so in. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Klein! Please, someone introduce him to Akito. You have like five maidens here. Why can't Klein have one? Klein is just, just actually getting some sort of like love from the bubbles from Skald, who is a program. It's an NPC, bro. Klein, hold it yourself together. Maybe Skald will return. Listen, I've been saying this. Lisbeth and Klein, what do you think about that? Like, they've been always like bantering the most too. It just seemed like a bickering couple. Lisbeth and Klein, and the fact that she's having a line directly for Klein right now, like, you think so maybe? How does Lisbeth? Uh, hey, college? <laughs> Is that it? Oh, back to Eagle's bar? How are we doing this? Are we FaceTiming Yui? I'm turning real-time footage of the Dicey Cafe into pseudo 3D. What the fuck did you even just say here? What is a pseudo 3D hologram? Oh, this is some Blade Runner shit, man. This is like... Have you, guys, have, you, have you guys seen Blade Runner? I've seen a parts of it. It's basically you have like a robot life that like can exist as like a hologram in your apartment and the different lights and shit will make them like move around in like the apartment. Like, like Kirito designed this. He engineered this? I mean, this isn't that far of a reach. It is. Obviously, it's fucking crazy that I, fucking high school student, could be able to create this. But, like, in the beginning of a season two, like, the first episode literally talked about, like, how the lack of information made it such that the sensory parts of the games was not as good as it could be. And then he was, like, studying mechatronics once, right? He got fucking... There was that one thing, and then season one, I guess he's a fucking elite hacker, so, like... And he's, like, kind of nerdy, and he always does that shit, so... I, I guess it makes sense, yeah? Now, all we have to do is mass produce these Yui bots and sell it, bro. Imagine the amount of money we could make. Is that it? Kampai! That is so weird! Cheers to 2025. Like, we are headed into 2025 in, like, we're almost, like, halfway done through this year. Like, that's weird. And, like, this is, like, an anime from, like, a decade ago. And it's crazy how, like, on point the timeline is with us. Why the fuck are we at Tiffany's bar, yet he has not had a single fucking line? He's not even present at the dinner. They didn't even want to pay Aegil's fucking voice actor. He's just MIA. Is it? I thought it's Excalibur. Nerd. Okay. Why are we talking about the meaning of caliber right now? Does it? Why is he in the court? Like, bro, join us. Eagle, my man. Like, they just, they did you so dirty. Eagle got done so dirty. 
The last time we saw him was at the Dicey Cafe in fucking Alo arc as he gave, you know, Kirito like the fucking Alo copy. That was the end of his lives, bro. He just fucking exists now. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking saying it right now, bro. This gotta be fucking racist, bro. You tell me every one of these fucking white skinned characters has a fucking line and Ego can't get a goddamn fucking line? SAO fucking racist confirmed. Tabs on Kirito. Sugar Daddy Kirito. Honestly, Klein belongs to his harem now too. <laughs> and here it is. The end credits of today's episode. This pretty much is a Tonki art. And you have Klein here crying with Mjolnir because he can't fucking wield the hammer, dude. <laughs> Poor Klein. Hey, at least Yui is on Pina and this is cool. This is a nice picture. And that, my friends, is the end of SAO Tonki arc. Might I say that the Tonki arc is actually better than ALO. Man, I didn't think that there could be another SAO part that would be even more peak than ALO, but I was wrong. I think the tier list stands like this. Tonki arc, SSS tier. ALO. Oh my god, ALO was so fucking good with that racist ass fairy game. And then SAO and GGO fucking at the bottom, bro. Shit's fucking trash, man. But Tonki arc, this shit is peak and reminds me why I love this series. <laughs> Jokes aside, now we can actually get into the main content, which actually isn't even the main content. Because I think everyone is pretty much just like on, they're just benched. They're just kind of waiting until season three and season four, right? Y'all motherfuckers, y'all just are sluts. Y'all not gonna fucking watch Mother Rosario arc, but hey, I'm gonna try to make it as entertaining as possible for you guys. And hopefully, even if it's bad, there's a lot of fun times that we can laugh at. So that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video check out the other playlist here for more content and until next time take care